Now, we like to be accurate, of course, so we shouldn't really say Port Vale have been promoted for the first time in 19 years, but it would take a monumental 28 goal swing next Saturday to stop them. So let's run the risk, shall we, and say Port Vale have been promoted for the first time in 19 years. Laura May McMullen spent an emotional day at Vale Park. It was a day thousands of Port Vale fans could only dream of. I'm as nervous as hell. I've followed them 60 years. And I've seen all this before, but I hope this is the icing on the cake. The Valiants faced a determined Northampton side fighting for a playoff place. But a sellout home crowd turned up to back their boys. I travel from Dallas, Texas, which is about 4,624 miles from Burslem. What would promotion mean to you? It'd be massive. I mean, at the start of the season, we didn't have a team. I was in the team that last got promotion, and uh, no, to see them doing it now would be fantastic. Like I said, for the fans here uh, who have suffered over the years, uh, it'd be fantastic for them. Port Vale have actually come from administration to celebration. This time last year, they'd just been deducted 10 points and staff hadn't been paid. All this within 12 months. So promotion was in their grasp. Just 90 minutes to seal their fate and write themselves into the history books. But it was a fight from two minutes in. Vale can't get the ball away and that's going to be turned in at the back post and they've scored Northampton. The frustration was clear to see, but 38 minutes in and Liam Chilvers got a vital equaliser. Edge of the penalty area, cross goes in, Chilvers is waiting and the ball's headed in. Vale have equalised and it's Liam Chilvers once again. A tense promotion battle and it was a late goal from former Valiant Lee Collins that sealed Port Vale's destiny. Virtual's ball forward, could that be an own goal? It can! And Vale are back on level terms! And Vale Park erupts! So in front of the biggest home crowd of the season, Port Vale win promotion for the first time in nearly 20 years. The final whistle healed years of torment. For some, it was hard to take in. How are you feeling right now? Me, I'm a bit emotional. No, I am. Uh, uh, you know, it's my uh, fourth promotion. I've been a lucky man, and uh, they get better and better. Um, but I just think about the uh, the people who are not here. You know, uh, all the players that have come through the system that are not here now and have played their part in this, and also the people that have actually put us on this earth. You know, my dad, my late dad, he'd be so proud. It was a victory that also meant the world to Tom Pope. As a lifelong Port Vale fan, he's dreamed of this day. In years to come, I'll look back on this day with a great bit of pride and, you know, I've achieved everything I've ever wanted to achieve in the game. It's unbelievable. I mean, I can't explain it. I mean, look, I've been here four years now with the gaffer and you know, I was here when lads were getting paid with an admin and to come through it like this and we start the season and have men to come through the other side and promote it's unbelievable. The lads have stuck together as a team, obviously the gaff have kept all the lads here and I think he's a big part of what, obviously what we've done today and the lads have just worked so hard and it's just paying dividends today. How proud are you of your dad and the team? I'm very proud. Work very hard. Yeah. He knows how hard I work. This must be such a sweet day for you. Yeah, is I'm uh, I'm a bit overcome to be honest. Uh, if you'd have said this was going to happen to us at the start of the season, I would have thought you were mad. You know, uh, all the trials and tribulations. It's a real testament to my players more than anything. Um, they've been absolutely fantastic. Never give up. Showed that spirit there today. 
Well, they've waited 20 years, haven't they, for something, and, and, and finally it's happened, and, um, you know, a big outpouring of emotion, I'm sure, and, you know, the, the game, again, you couldn't have really scripted it, and, and, and getting back in the last few minutes, it was absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. I don't know what else to say to you today. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not the only stuck for words, but I am today. <laughs> So the Valiants have made history and achieved their goal. Testament to the loyalty and dedication of the team of 2013. Well, officially, they might not have that P by their name, but they're all but promoted, of course. And by the way, a five-minute montage of yesterday's fantastic footage is on our Facebook page for Vale fans to keep forever. But what a story in Burslem. I mean, you know... Mickey Adams started the season, John. It's emotional. I know you're feeling it, aren't you? I'm feeling the love. <laughs> <laughs> what has Mickey Ad I mean, what Mickey Adams has done is hugely special, considering what happened in pre-season. They were in administration, no players registered a week before, no training kit, and they've got they're, they're there now. When you think the club could easily have gone out of existence, I mean, it's a remarkable story, and it really is. I mean, you can see how emotional Mickey was, and it, it must mean a lot to him. It's real unfinished business for him, so for them to be promoted is, I mean, it's a great story, and, and you know, I'm sure they've got huge support as well. I think they'll do well next term. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice touch by Mickey. Obviously, still remembering those who were at the club at the start of the season, but no longer there, and obviously he's got a personal touch with his father. But, you know, they've had, a, they've had to pay quite a heavy price in the last few months. Yeah, obviously, they've, oh no, the, the off-the-field antics have been well documented. And it's nice now that Mickey Adams can feel like he's delivered something back to the Port Vale fans. And I hope that they'll kick on next year. You know, me and Froggy have played there. When that place is full, it's bouncing, and the fans there have turned out in the drove. So, great and a happy news for that football club. Uh, obviously, Tom Pope will have attracted so many envious glances from other football managers. He's got a huge part to play next season, hasn't he? He certainly has. But if you look at the players they have in the current squad, lot, a few of them have got experience in the higher leagues as well. Mm. And that will count for a lot, I think, you know, and, and they'll help bring the young lads along. And it's an exciting time for Port Vale. I say that they are very well supported and yeah. they'll have big home crowds and it will not be an easy place to go to. I'm sure you guys have been involved in promotion during your career. I mean, what is the feeling right now, ultimately? Is it relief more than anything? Oh, they'll be absolutely ecstatic, won't they? You know, obviously the celebrations will go along into the morning and stuff, and the whole city will be vibrant. You know, you'll go into the town centre, there'll be flags. It's a, a really good time for to be a footballer, but also to be a Port Vale fan. Yeah, very well done to everybody at Port Vale Football Club.